What happens to him? House arrest. He gets put under house arrest. He gets forced to recant under the threat of torture and spends the rest of his life under house arrest. So what you have here, and I fucking love this example so much. I think it's so cool because it's two guys, 100 years apart, with the same realization. And the justification for the first one not saying what he didn't say loudly is the treatment of the second. I think it's like just this perfect explanation mm. of irony. You know what I mean? Yep, like yep. it's so perfect. Yeah. And you go, well, the main issue that I have with like Cassandra, basically being right and early often feels a lot like being wrong. Mm -hmm. And if you make a an example of somebody in that way, it is basically you saying, if you step out of line too far, this is what's going to happen to you. And it causes people who are trying to move conceptual inertia forward. We're trying to do research. I'm trying to assess whether or not this is actually the way that the world should be. It causes them to be more Copernicus, not more Galileo.